Alrighty, why don't you do, introduce you guys to my motorcycle. So what it is, it is a M1030B1, uh, which is a marine motorcycle. So what they are, it's um, the military's version of a KLR650, which is a big enduro. So I'm gonna walk around here. Now, so these are on off-road bikes, so I am street legal. Um, but still run a 21 front, 17 inch rear, like a dirt bike. Um, now this is modified from stock by a good amount for what I like to do, uh, which is kind of long range off-road riding. Um, I don't race or anything like that, but it's what these come with. So like this is a seven and a half gallon gas tank, which is absolutely massive on a motorcycle, especially when I get 45 miles to the gallon. That's a whole lot longer range than you want to be sitting on that seat. Uh, motor wise, so they're, uh, they're a 650 single to start with. This one's rather dirty because I didn't clean it up last fall. But, so 650 single, um, I've got this board out to 719. I've got a uh, shaved head, shave cylinder on it, dryer compression, it's a forged lightweight piston, oversized valves in it, uh, big cams, a ported head, a reworked cam, or carb, sorry. Uh, still stock size carb. Uh, pretty heavily modified airbox to try to feed that carb. Um, it's got an exhaust, which is, it's a factory header, but it's like an inch and a half header on a single cylinder. That's fine. Um, the muffler is gutted with an inch and a half hole, with an inch and a half outlet on it. So it, she breathes pretty good. Um, there's a wideband O2 bung on it. I just use that for kind of working with my tune on the carb. Try to get that a little better. Uh, let's see. I run, after run heavy clutch springs in it because I was slipping the originals. And then that's when I switch to a hydraulic clutch here. Uh, it was originally a clutch, or a cable clutch, which was just an absolute bear to handle. That didn't work so well. Down here, we have a custom quarter inch skid plate. Covers the whole bottom of the motor. Uh, this does not come on regular KLRs, but comes on the on the marine version of them. Now, and I had to modify it a little bit to get some ground clearance because originally it hung down from the frame and I'll get caught on logs. Up front here, this is like my street setup. So these are my somewhat street worthy tires. And by street worthy, I mean they're, they're enduro tires that I, this is when I'm not gonna be dedicated on dirt, I put these tires on. I run a oversized brake rotor on it. Uh, front forks are somewhat stock. The, the military version has the progressive springs in it already. I haven't changed out the dampening mechanisms on it yet, which I think I will do this year because the fork seals are completely gone, or not completely gone, but they seep right now. So I gotta work on that. Big tool bag up front. I carry, I even carry spare bearings for this thing. So I, there's not much I can't do with what's in this bag. Uh, these are the bash guards that come with it on the military version of it. Um, this bike has been put down at like 70 on the highway and all it does is just make little flat spots where it grinds. Uh, it wasn't me that put it down. Still my bike and my problem to fix, but. Uh, this is, I'm thinking I'm a little over 30,000 on it. Uh, I break speedometer cables all the time. 
So most of the time I've owned it, the speedometer has not worked or the odometer. So it only registers 15 on there. Uh, for ammo cans, these are big 20 mil cases, uh, which is kind of like the biggest normal ones you can get, I guess, if you want to call it that. So they're on a, on a quick attach system. So on the inside, there's uh, T-bolts that thread in here and then it clipped on the bottom. And then this connector is for my lights. So I've got running and brake lights and then my turn signals in my boxes because the original ones used to be up here. Uh, this is a custom LED tail light. Uh, so it's the original housing, but I put a custom board behind it. That's a lot better than the stock one was because you couldn't really see it. Um, custom brackets to hold my boxes on there. Now I'll have some pictures of it all done up. So this is this is like my normal everyday street driving. Um, there's kind of like three different modes I ride it in. When I go ride in the dirt, I throw straight dirt bike knobbies on it, non-DOT legal, go full knobby on it, get as much traction as I can. I take off these ammo cans, still leave the rack on there, but I pull the cans off to save weight. I run this gas tank as low as I can to go just as far as I need to, because with, you know, seven gallons in here, that's a lot of weight up high. And this bike is pushing over 400 pounds, so, and I ride single track with it, so which is a lot of work to do with a heavy bike. So I try to keep as little weight on it and as low as possible. Mm. Oh, here's another thing. Uh, excuse the oil leak, but uh, aftermarket rear shock, so much better than the factory one was. I also run um, a heavy spring on it over the factory because I do have the extra weight of this, sometimes a passenger, and then um, when, uh, so then the third mode I kind of put it in is my like long distance uh, camping. So I'll camp off the back of this and to do that, so these hold a decent amount of storage, but I mean, I take things like I've got my own, uh, I've got spare tubes, I've got spare oil, I've got, you know, everything I could hopefully need in there, as well as all my camping gear, so I've got two big duffel bags that attach with these quarter turn latches here. So they're the same, they're round and they're the same width here, and then they stick back, they stick over just a little bit, and those strap onto here and here. And like this one takes my tent, my air mattress, and my ground tarp. And then I'll put like clothes in this one. And then my sleeping bag goes in the back here. And then I'll put a third bag here, which is kind of my miscellaneous. So between that, I've got more storage than I could need. And it stays somewhat balanced and it's still pretty easy to ride off road with that much weight on it. But it's, it's a lot of bike. And then so in this open cavity here, I've got a, I think it's like a one and a quarter gallon jug that I put in here, it straps in there between here and here. And that's for water, it's part of my fresh water because I'll be off for quite a while. So that's a little over a gallon there. And then here on my tank, I've got another bag that I put on here and that holds basically a a hydration pack or a camel back or whatever you want to call it so that I've got water for while I'm riding and then I also put uh, I run power to it and then I'll charge like my uh, camera batteries and that kind of stuff in there uh, up here ram mount so I've got a cell phone holder up here with a wireless charger in it so I can just put my phone up there and then I'm able to see navigation as I'm driving that kind of thing. Mm. Here's the clutch lever for the hydraulics. Hydraulic clutch. So much nicer than stock. It's a re pretty expensive. Relatively expensive. At least for me anyways. Uh, feature to have. But I wouldn't. Having it now. I don't regret it one bit. Uh, 
this switch up here is for the blackout lights. So left is on, right is off, nope, center is off. So with that, zero, works, zero lights work on the bike, not even the horn works. And then in blackout, uh, used to mount here, it's in the garage. I broke it off because I dumped the bike on gravel. But so then it'd be a little tiny white light that faces forward here. And then these little lights back here. So they'll have your running and then a brake light. I mean, barely visible. Um, but once again, that was for when it was in, in use in service. Um, uh, this is, this uh, switch cluster did not come on this bike. Um, I didn't like the way the original one was, so I just found a different one that fit. Modified the clutch cable and all that to fit on here. Let's see, what else have I done to this thing? The, uh, the frame has been reinforced. You can't see it because it's all behind the tank right now. But I have, uh, I've broken this thing in half. It literally... There's the tube that runs underneath your tank here. Right about here it cracked. And then down here, where this tube comes down to the two that run underneath the motor, it cracked right off there. So I've got some big gussets welded on there to support that. And then I also gusseted it up here. So that started holding up better. Uh, and then I do stupid things like take this on a motocross track. And then... Uh, one of the things I've done is I've broken this foot peg off. I sheared the bolts. They must have been a little loose. But so then I sheared them, but I also broke this section of frame apart. So I've had to re-weld that. Uh, oh, my lithium battery. Save that two pounds. It actually just sort of cranks better and doesn't last only for one year. Uh, Another interesting thing about this, it has no key. It looks like a key, functions like a key, but you can't pull that out. That's permanently in there. So, no keys to lose on it, which is kind of nice. Um, let's see, what else has this bike had done to it? That's kind of the, that's the main things. Um, with this motor in it, uh, it's definitely a lot better than stock. Uh, it will do 100 miles an hour, uh, but 100 miles an hour with this tall of a bike, and you're sitting straight up and down on this knobby of a tire, it's pretty sketchy. I would not suggest it. Close course only, of course. We never did that on a public highway. But it will, it will take you where you need to go. Um, it's pretty ugly. I like it that way. I purposely don't paint it. Um, I personally prefer the look of it. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully have a little bit of running footage of it. Unfortunately, right now, I, uh, I have popped a head gasket on it. So the new parts are on their way. Those should be here the next couple days. Hopefully I'll have that done before I have to have this posted up so that I can give you guys some footage of it running. Otherwise I might find some old footage of it running last year before I broke it. So yeah, that is my, that's my motorcycle. It's not for everybody, but I sure love it.